Hello, and now we get to the really fun part of our class, or the part that's a little bit like a torture, not so much fun, depending on your perspective. But it is the key part, the hardest part, the most important part, and the part when you master it, this is the thing that is most important to your professionalism. So really getting your thesis, your dissertation, your research paper, or even your book up to that level that's really required to be a master of your topic. And that is the citations that go in and the references that go at the end. And in this class, we have focused on two style approaches, which is the MLA and the APA. And that's what we're going to look at is real quick to show what is the overall differences of these two. We've talked a little bit about the content. We've talked about how you write the different parts of your research paper and basically these styles are not very different. But where they do become different is in the detail. And that detail is where the trouble comes from. You need to be completely internally consistent. That is, the way you do your references must be the same each time. Where do you find the rules for that? Well, that's in these books here. Now you may say, well, that's not a problem. I'll just go online and find it. And that is the worst way you can possibly do it. Because online, everything is so mixed up. Things are out of date. And that comes to a key point. If you look here, what we're focusing on in this class are the most recent style guides for APA and MLA. For APA, it's the sixth edition. For MLA, it's the eighth edition. You may say that's not a big deal because I use software like Zotero, which is my favorite, open source free and really, really helpful, or EndNote, which I know is popular, but you know, costs money and it's very closed. In any case, you say, well, I use software, it solves the problem. My answer is no, it doesn't solve the problem at all. Let's just take a look at a quick example here. Here is Google Scholar. This is probably the way you'll be finding a lot of your papers and working out your sites. And here we have a couple papers and you can see at the bottom below each paper you have this little cite button. And if you press that cite button, you get a nice little list of possible citations. We have MLA format, APA, Chicago, Harvard, Vancouver. That's really great. Google's wonderful this way. Google Scholar, super, super, very, very helpful. However, we need to keep in mind that this is not always correct. In fact, if we look at it right now, we can right away see a big mistake. The MLA style here at the end has the year inside parentheses. 2013 parentheses open and closed. Then it has a colon. Well, this is not the seventh edition style. This is the sixth edition. It is literally out of date. It is wrong. It is incorrect. And that's Google right there. That's the main Google Scholar giving you that. It's wrong. I've often seen Google Scholar be wrong and the online sites, the publication sites. They also have this import facility or capability, which is really great, but it's often wrong. How else can it be wrong? It can be wrong not only in the approach they're using, the guide they're using, but it can also be wrong, just the names can be wrong. The page numbers can be wrong. The issue of the journal can be wrong. I've seen everything possible be wrong. Capitalization, often wrong. Well, capitalization is almost always wrong because the way the journal has put the information in the database may totally not match what you need for your style, MLA or APA or another one. So you really need to check these once you import them, if you're using import. If you're typing it by hand, you need to be careful you don't make typos or make the situation worse, which is very easy to do. And another thing is copying styles from other people. Now, if you're doing something like EndNote or Zotero, you can share databases of references, which is a really huge, great time saver that I love. But you still need to check to make sure that the inputted information is correct. Remember, garbage in, garbage out, right? If trash comes in, there's nothing you can do. Trash is going to go out. You need to make sure your imports are correct. 